Welcome to Great HR. In this video, we'll walk you through how to create and configure a performance review cycle from the admin portal on Great HR. To get started, log into the Great HR admin portal and navigate to Performance Management. Then go to Reviews and click on Create Cycle. The first thing you need to do is add the cycle details. Enter the name and description of the review cycle. You can also attach guidelines for employees, assessors, or reviewers to give them clarity on the process. Once this is done, move to the next section to select employees. Here, you'll select which employees are enrolled for the selected goal plan. You can either pick existing employees or click on the plus button to add a new set. Select any of the three options given here and specify the date and duration. Next, let's move on to adding assessors. This is where you define who will evaluate the employee's performance. By default, the system sets up three levels of assessors, but you can add more if needed. The first level is the self-assessor, which is always the employee. They can rate themselves and add comments. While you can't change this role, you can assign a weightage to their input. Then you have Assessor 1, where you can choose the role and set the weightage accordingly. For the final assessor, their actions are fixed to can approve and publish. You can change the role, but not their permissions. And no weightage is allowed for this level. Ensure that the total weightage across assessors who rate and comment adds up to 100. After setting up the assessors, you'll need to set timelines. This defines how long each assessor has to complete their review. Reviews happen sequentially, so once one assessor submits their review, the window for the next assessor automatically opens. Email reminders are sent out to keep everyone on track, both when the review window opens and as the deadline approaches. This helps avoid delays and keeps the process smooth. Now it's time to define the rating scale. Choose a scoring range, either 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. You can then decide whether the final score should appear as a whole number with one decimal or two decimal places. Don't forget to add a short description for each score so everyone understands what the ratings represent. Next, you'll create performance categories. These are the areas on which employees will be evaluated, such as behavioral agreement, importance, or satisfaction. The system automatically includes a goals category and links it to goal plans based on their timeline and type. You can modify or add more categories as needed, add questions and assign weightage to reflect your company's performance priorities. After categories, head to the recommendation section. Here, you define what kind of outcomes or actions can follow a review. Based on an employee's self-assessment, the system can recommend actions like a salary increment, a change in designation, or development plans like PDPs and PIPs. You also control what assessors can do. Most can add recommendations, but only the final assessor can override others' inputs. Now let's configure performance document controls. This section lets you decide what each assessor can see in the performance documents. The self-assessor will always be able to view their own ratings and comments. For other assessors, you can control visibility. Choose from ratings, comments, both, or make it not visible. The final assessor by default sees nothing. You can also select the recommendations that will be visible to the employee on their ESS portal from here. Before finishing up, review the summary of the cycle. When everything looks good, click Save and Confirm. The cycle now moves to the Draft tab. You can still make changes while it's in draft mode. Once you're ready, activate the review cycle. 
The cycle will be live and assessors will begin receiving notifications as per the timelines you've set. And that's it. You've successfully created a review cycle in Great HR. In the next video, we will see how an employee can take their self-assessment. For more how-to videos and feature walkthroughs, be sure to check out our Great HR tutorials.